On the Friday before Thanksgiving from Schneider Arena, it's time for some Hockey East action between the Merrimack College Warriors and the Providence College Friars. Oh, that's a, a good omen or a bad omen to the start of the night, but we do get things sorted and we're underway with the Warriors winning the opening draw. They push a puck in her moment or make her statement as the goaltender for a few years now as Gorski was with the program. Here's an entry, Pfeffer with the shot and the glove save made by Kingsley. Shooting back across her body, the opposite side of the cage, Kingsley's glove. Lee getting stuck in some of that snow is the first period. Dwindles down. Wraparound chance for Cohen, and it was right there. A quick whistle, too. Clark got tossed to the ice, and the stick comes loose as well. The puck was free. First of all, stopping it at the blue line from coming out. Now Evans. To angles, but a turnover. Tayo is going to be able to step into one, making a move to get by, and then sent one on net. Covered up here by Hogarth. I'm not sure Hogarth saw that right away, but Tayo with the backhand try put it just wide, and Hogarth able to cover it. Yeah, Claire Tayo was actually starting to back off. She thought she was going to have to start defending. Then she sees the puck coming for her, steps forward, makes a move around the defender, and throws the shot. Kind of a knuckler hit the glove first of Hogarth, and she was able to cover the rebound. Chang gets there first. Edmonds with the entry here. Back to Lindbergh. In front, it's tipped home. Opportunity finally taken advantage by the Warriors. Mary Edmonds, her fourth of the season. Yeah, and we'll get another look at this. Kingsley stops the first shot. Kind of takes it in the chest, the pop pops up in the air. Feed it towards the slot, Weiss redirects it up to Cavalieri. Tayo sends one in, wide! Hogarth with the back dive and she got on top of it. What a recovery from Hogarth. It looked like Knapp was gonna get her stick on that and get it back in front, but that was just a great job and good awareness as well. Yeah, we'll take a look. Tayo, the shot out in front. You see Knapp grab it right there beside the post, but Reaching back with the glove, Hogarth able to stop it right on the goal line. Win for the Friars, their fourth try on the power play tonight. They looked really good on two of the three in the second period. The middle power play, they looked all right, just not as many opportunities. Kirchmeyer across, one time rip, another crossbar post situation. And it's Becker again. Sends back to Tayo at the top. Tayo and Cavalieri switching positions. Shirley gets into shooting position. Now Cavalieri with one on, rebound chance in the crease. Poked at a few times by the Friars and eventually covered by Hogarth. 24 saves now for the sophomore Hogarth. Yeah, Hogarth was able to hold on to this puck. I do think the whistle came just a little bit early. She was able to get the glove on just seconds later. We see the shot blocked. Shirley on the attempt. It comes right back up to Cavalieri, who throws it on goal. And then two Friars down low, Bachna and Johnson jamming at it. But they had gotten the whistle. Since save made. Final 10 seconds. DeBlois sent it down to Weiss. Kirchmeyer. Final five, Becker sends one on, it's saved again to the corner. Kirchmeyer looking for one more towards the middle. It's deflected to the corner and that'll do it. 